we're going to be, there's a really big update that came out of Facebook. So we kind of told you about it last month uh, when we, we had just found out about it uh, in Hawaii, actually. And uh, this is pretty massive. So it's really important that you guys are all across this beginner or advanced. It was rolled out officially. Uh, so they announced it a month ago. It was rolled out officially about four days ago. So on the 20th of May. And um, it's all about the pixel and how it's collecting a lot more data. So you may have noticed something very different with your pixel. Um, I'm then going to run through some training around using gamification as part of your client funnel. So I'm gonna show you some different ways that we've used it. I'm gonna show you some different ways that you can build gamification. And I think as a group, we'll start to like, um, I forget the word, but like, I was gonna to say toss the salad, but that means something totally different. Like toss ideas, like round table or something <laughs> around the table um, and, and come up with some ideas around, you know, your own client funnels, how you could be using, like what are some cool hooks that we could come in from a gamification angle. And if we have time, uh, then I will uh, go into some of the client stuff. So I know we've got uh, Melody. And then Farida and Stephanie Gordon, I need to speak to you guys really quickly afterwards because I'm just looking after a few things that we, we spoke about before. Um, so this is how today's training is going to go down, slightly different, uh, a bit more on the training side than actually looking at client campaigns. Normally we go straight into client stuff, um, but there's a lot happening and this will be really, really good. So remember, it, this is being recorded. If you are at the state, if you are in the academy and you are at the stage where you're getting yourself on calls, uh, try to get on that call with Stan to make sure that you're getting supported through that to make sure that you onboard the clients um, and maintain that momentum in your business. All right, so without further ado, um, Faye, custom conversions using ClickFunnels. Don't use custom conversions with ClickFunnels. They don't track very well. You have to use custom events or standard events. Yeah, ClickFunnels is really shitty with custom conversions. Okay, cool. So I'm going to share my screen, and uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what's happening with – oh, shoot. I stopped the video. How do I sh – oh, my God. I haven't done this in a while, it feels like. Okay, cool. Can you guys see my screen? Yeah, okay. Awesome. Let me just get rid of this. So I'm going to pull up a website. Oh, that's so funny. I've got, like, Tom's face right there. So sad, cat, so sad. So this is the Eight Loop Social website, as you guys know. And one of the things that you may have noticed is something slightly new uh, with the pixel. Kind of gave it away there, but do you, have you guys spotted this? So essentially now what you'll see is there's a, an event called Microdata that has been added to the pixel. And microdata is a form of HTML or coding language that passes back uh, more information on a website and specific actions that people are taking on a website. It was uh, commonly used by, by Google and I think um, things like uh, tracking people clicking buttons that were normally very hard to track with Facebook are now much easier to track. So Facebook is really looking at the meta information on a landing page, on a website, and passing back that information to get more uh, of a holistic idea around what people are doing once they're hitting your website. And in essence, they're trying to do this to help optimize your, your campaigns. And also what this means and what this is, why this is really important for you guys to be aware of this is this is ultimately also going to affect your conversions or your results from your campaigns if it's not set up properly. Because Facebook is not going to like uh, something coming back to it that isn't set up properly or that has no information, right? So you want to make sure that your client's stuff and your own stuff as well has this set up properly. So this is my uh, microdata. Now everyone, uh, you don't have to install this. It's been rolled out already as long as, I think it was as long as your pixel was installed after uh, April 20th. I'm not sure, but uh, when they changed that whole pixel. So 
as long check your pixels in your clients campaigns you don't have to do anything it would have been rolled out automatically the event is already there and what you'll see is so this is the eight loop social one now when we click on here what you'll see is uh, schema.org and then open graph now I'm not gonna go too much into this stuff guys because this is like heavy web dev stuff I'm not trying to teach you how to set this up on a client's website this is not our job we're not web devs however what I want to teach you is how to identify if the data is getting passed back to Facebook so if there actually is microdata being sent back to Facebook or if you need to get your client to a hire you and you will outsource a web dev to get it set up or for them to set it up themselves remember it's going to impact the results from your campaigns so you definitely want to make sure that you get this set up Tom um, Tom shared this yesterday in the Academy and he said actually uh, he mentioned a really good point this is think of this as another way to monetize your services right so if you have a client that isn't really uh, tied to a developer internally in-house and, and you tell them, hey, look, this is a new rollout. So I'm going to send you, uh, uh, um, where's the official page? I'm going to send you this link in the chat box right now so you can save that and send that to your clients. So this is the official Facebook, you know, release on it, but it's as with anything, Facebook is really like sort of bland and very uh, not really descriptive around what it actually means, but send that to your client and say, Hey, look, there's been a, a big update that happened about four days ago. Um, Facebook is mining more data from the website and your landing pages. Um, your website schema is not set up properly. So we need to make sure we get this set up. Otherwise, it's going to impact the results on our campaigns. Once it's set up, we can improve the results as well. Um, and they will either say, yeah, can you get that set up? And you can charge them, you know, 500, 1,000 bucks or whatever you want to and outsource a web dev to just go in and set that up. It's not a, a, a big thing necessarily. Shopify does this automatically. Um, and certain websites do this automatically as well. So let me show you really quickly what I'm talking about. So you'll see here when we click down on the mi micro data, we've got schema.org and then open graph. Now this is not set up properly because there's literally like two brackets in here. I don't even know if that's a bracket or a square. So there's nothing here. There's no schema set up for this website. There's no micro data getting sent back to Facebook. If we look at another website, this one is done off Shopify. And, um, oh, I shouldn't have had that. I wanted to show you like from the beginning. So you'll see here, you'll go into here. And as you'll see here, when we go show, there's a lot of information. Now I'm not expecting you guys to look at this and go, oh, that's a beautiful schema. Right again, that's a web dev thing. <laughs> this is Shopify, so it's done automatically. Um, like, we're not trying to teach you guys how to become coders or developers. I have no idea if that's a nice looking schema or not. But what I do know is that it's data, whereas this one, what you'll notice with a lot of your client site, has nothing bad, good. So, we want this. So, when you're going on your website, your client's websites, and it's just got uh, you know a little box in it that's not good we need to make sure that you're either hiding that microdata so you're telling Facebook not to track it and that's something you're gonna put in your base code or that you get a developer to actually set that up properly and I would rec recommend the latter because it's actually gonna improve uh, your situation with Facebook and and the campaigns that you're running as well now a lot of you guys are running stuff out of click funnels right so you're landing funnels out of click funnels uh, we have submitted uh, we're in touch with click funnels right now to try to figure out how this can be done on click funnels because it doesn't show up at the moment as soon as they get back to me with uh, and as soon as we've worked that out I'll let you guys know because I know a lot of you guys are running out of click funnels and your clients are also working out of click funnels um, so as soon as that's uh, done, I'll let you guys know. So essentially, what you guys need to know now as Facebook marketers, beginners or advanced, is Facebook is tracking a lot more information. People clicking on buttons, 
the quality of your landing page, the load times, uh, the meta tags of a website. It's tracking all sorts of data now for your landing page. This is going to impact the relevance of your campaigns, right? So if there's no, if for example, if your load time is too long, well, we know Facebook is gonna penalize you for that. If people are not performing actions on your landing page, Facebook will probably penalize you for that as well, or it's gonna to try to optimize differently. Um, if, yours, if your ad is saying something about chicken soup, but your metadata is talking about beef stock, there's gonna be a problem as well. Facebook's probably not gonna like that very much. So this impacts part of that bear algorithm that I talked to you guys about, right? The Facebook algorithm. So, um, so essentially what you guys need to know is that there's new track, there's a change that's happened with the Facebook pixel. It's mining a lot more data from websites now. It's even more important now that you make sure things um, uh, are keeping the scent, that you make sure that the site is set up properly with this information. You don't have to set this up. You, you need to get a developer to set this up for you. Um, on certain website, it will be done automatically. But understanding how to check if it is set up properly or not. So I hope that makes sense, everyone. This is part of the, the really big update as well. And part of the reason why they also announced before we used to have to, um, we, have, we used to have to optimize for link clicks before in order to get data on the pixel so Facebook could optimize for a conversion. And now on the 20th of May, they said, look, just go straight for conversions. And it's part of, it's, it's getting a lot more information as well now. So the pixel's getting a lot smarter, lots smarter. So let me quickly pull up the chat box. Let's see if there's... Uh... So every pixel, uh, it's, a, it's web code, so it's HTML stuff, language. So at, like here, you'll see there's two pixels, and um, it will be the same, right? So it's picking up the, the schema set up. Both pixels are picking it up. So you only have to do it once. You don't do it by pixel. It's a website thing, so it's the language on the website. You broke up in the explanation. Did I break up? You guys missed that whole thing? Uh, so I'm going to share this with you as well. This is one of the links that Tom shared. Uh, so have a read of this. Developers would know about this. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. Nine pixel. Okay, so if you guys don't have any more questions around that, we will kick into the gamification training. And I will show you, uh, yeah, yeah, well, not every developer would know. You're right, Manny. So um, I'm going to do some training around gamification now. So if you guys want to